So if you look carefully, we have just done possibly the greatest bit of business I've ever done on any football manager game in my life. Fatty on a free at his end of contract. He didn't want to stay in Barcelona. He is now joining us. He saved us a hundred odd million. Get in. Guys, welcome back to Football Manager is Ruining My Life. I am O'Sullivan. We are restoring Valencia, so thank you for joining me on my quest to doing that today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the playlist because we are in Season 4. We've got the Spanish Super Cup. We've got another crack at it today because we failed miserably in our last three attempts. And we have the Champions League draw for you now. So, we are second in our group. So, we are a second-seeded team. We are unseeded, should you say. So, we are going to, no doubt... Get one of these bad boys here. So Ajax is the team we'd like to play. We can't have Barcelona. We can't have Real Madrid. We can't get Man United because they were in our group. So it's PSG, Inter, Liverpool, Chelsea or Ajax for us. I know which one I want. Let's find out. So Atletico Madrid we cannot get because of what they are say to the draw. So Inter Milan are gone. Ajax is still there. Salzburg will play Barcelona. Doesn't affect us. City will play PSG. Oh, tasty. Arsenal, Ajax. So Ajax are gone, which means we're going to get Liverpool or Chelsea. I've been bashing Liverpool a lot <laughs> on this save. So, Real Madrid and Bayern are done. Chelsea still in the hat. Chelsea are gone. So, it looks like we are playing Liverpool in the Champions League knockout stages, which is um, interesting. They've got some... Absolute quality players on this game. Haaland's up front for them. They've got Luis from Benfica. Aaron's at right back. Yeah, so that'll be uh, that's going to be hard. That is going to be hard. Now, now, last year, they didn't get in the Champions League knockout stages, and I absolutely battered them uh, verbally. So that is not good. So we've got Madrid at home, Liverpool away, all <laughs> next to each other. So... Look at our schedule today. We're not going to focus on the Champions League. We'll worry about that in the next episode. We are going to focus on the Spanish Super Cup final because we are the current league champions. Therefore, we qualify for the mini Spanish Super Cup tournament in Saudi Arabia. Nothing to do with oil money, I'm sure. But yeah, we'll look ahead to that Liverpool game soon. So we'll, today I will play Oviedo. In a friend, well, in a friendly, I say we'll play them first, and then I'll show you the highlights of that game. We'll then crack on with the semi-final um, against Barcelona, and then hopefully, we hopefully, so I say this every time it comes around, uh, we get two games for you today because hopefully we get the final as well, which is either Atletico Madrid um, or Real Madrid. So something to look forward to. We're looking okay in the league as well. Atletico Madrid on the horizon. So yeah, all good. So. Far. So where am I going? Squad. Contract. So contracts running out. I need to have a quick glance. So Gonzalez, Ince and Andreas have all been offered new contracts. So hopefully in the next couple of minutes or so in this episode, as I go through it, they get accepted because they're too valuable to be let go. Uh, scouting wise, we're doing all right. So We've got a lot of, uh, we've got some money. We've got some money in the tank coming in. I'm sh I'm, so I've been told. Fatty on a free transfer is the one we want. That is the one we are looking for. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that one over the line because I'm excited about that. So we put an offer in for Fatty, uh, just a contract because his contract runs out in Barcelona. He does not want to sign a new one for whatever reason. So that is exciting. So I'm nervous. Um, We'll look at anyone else's contract expiring in six months' time. Have a quick ganders at that. That's not right, is it? Because we've seen Pogba's is expiring. Maybe they don't need to change it to a year. Even though it is technically... Sorry, is it over just over six months? Because it's not January yet. Did I mess this up? What's going on? Hang on. Uh, one year? One year. Okay. So, okay, so Neymar's contract is running out. Pogba's contract is running out. Fatty's contract is running out. I can't, I'm not. I can't afford the first two. 
Fatty, we can just about make work. We've got Rada joining already. Um, it's exciting. He's got potential. Ruby Kazan defender there, maybe. So we'll get the scouts to have a look at some of those guys. Anyway, enough messing around. Enough chit-chat for me. Enough waffle. Oviedo highlights. 3-2-1. We beat them 6-0. Yeah, another clean sheet. Another boatload of goals for us, which is awesome. Because we need to keep doing that. So I will show you the highlights in that game very shortly. And then we shall crack on with the Barcelona game coming up. So Oviedo highlights. I won't edit it around. You can just click into it and see it. So as you can see, 22 shots on goal. So no wonder we scored six. There's a brace in there for Ince as well. So Sola opens the scoring from the spot first. I'll just edit these highlights, slow them down. So we actually see the goals go in for a change. Bang, bottom right corner. Keep it the right way, kind of. 1-0, easy job. Correa then attacks on the right-hand side. In towards Vera, back out to Correa. Bit of quality from the fullback as always. Guedes, I swear he never scores anymore. But it's nice to see him get on the score sheet. Big volley at the back post. Instant wits one over for Isaac. Love it when he scores because he costs a lot of money in the summer. And then Ince gets in one of the action himself. So ball comes out to him on the edge of the box. From Gaia, is it? Plays it there. First time, left foot, bottom left corner. Lovely finish from him. He is developing beautifully. And then he goes and does this as well. Look at that. B Tech, one matter. Burak Ince. Recommend him on any save. He is a secret potential wonder kid there. Guy then attacks down the left hand side. So many odd goals start like this. Solid and just hammers it near post. Keeping no chance. Yeah, comfortable 6 0 victory for Valencia. It's nice. You don't win many games 6 0 or 4 0. It's normally just 1 0, 2 0. Clean sheet again, which is awesome. Lots of greens. Everyone played well. Ince was awesome as well. Isaac with a goal. Geddes with a goal. It's good. Lee Kang seems to be playing a lot better now as well. So I think things are changing. Things are looking good. Is That's not Joaquin, is it? No. I thought that might have been the V. The Joaquin. I was like, surely he's still not going. Um, okay, so we'll focus on today's game. Barcelona Super Cup semi-final. Obviously, since we played those highlights, since we played Oviedo, things have changed because we have skipped a bit forward. So, um, let's have a look and see who we're playing. Because Atletico were playing Madrid already. So, let's have a quick glander. So, we'll be Atletico Madrid in the final. Should... We finally get over this mental hurdle of losing big games. We've lost the semi-final of this game for the last two seasons, I think. Real Betis beat us, um, as have Real Madrid last season. So hopefully, this year is our year. And I know it's the Spanish Super Cup. I know it probably doesn't need much. It doesn't mean much to the board, but it is. Anyway, since you've last seen that, we got him over the line. We've seen off Atletico Madrid and Chelsea and Fatty, who we're about to play against, will be joining us from Barcelona in the summer. That is the left wing position sorted. Thank you very much this game. So that is absolutely banging. He's obviously a potential worldie. As you know, he's 21 years old. He's right in his prime now. He's really getting up towards there. Not only that, if you look at our transfer budget, we also had 78 million now to spend because the board gave us some money. Finally. Cash trap Valencia, have cash. So, yeah, time to be a force to be reckoned with. Time to build an army in our empire because I've been working off five million budgets every season, having to sell every blooming player I have. Bring in these young worldies, hopefully, like Mbai, Andreas, Ince, these cheap ones. Anyway, rant over. So, we're going to go to the Barcelona game. We've worked well against them with the 3-5-2. So, we're going to go for that again today with our three centre half. So, we'll go Saliba, right side of centre-back. B, left side of centre-back. And then Sterigo through the middle. Uh, Correa and Gaia as our wing-backs. Um, need to upgrade my right wing-back or right-back position at some point because the youngsters aren't quite coming through yet and Correa... Isn't quite cutting the mustard, and it's just generally a weakness. Um, Vera and Musa will have to sit in the middle because Sola is suspended. They want to play Guedes up front, but I'm not going to do that one. Maxi Gomez and Isaac up front. Um, and we've got Lee Kang in behind as well. I know I said I'd play Citizen in the Cup games, but I really want to try and win this Super Cup. So <laughs> I'm gonna take, he's not even going to be in the squad. Let's get him off the bench. Um... 
young right back. We've got Andreas. We've also got the new lad coming in, Ibra. So I might put him on there. Gonzalez and Gandrup probably won't need to use both of those because we don't play with any wingers in this game. But in case we change formation, one of those might come in handy. Or well, I've got Geddes, I guess, haven't I? So we'll leave them both out. They're too young, too inexperienced. So bench-wise, we've got a right back. Kana can sit in there as well. Gavi, come on. He's played really well um, in the last few games as well. So he is definitely an option. So here we go. First semi-final of the season. Hopefully we get to our first ever final. I know we won the league last year, but our cup form hasn't been great. Our first season we did really well in the Super Cup. Uh, not the Super Cup, the Spanish Cup. Um, got to the semi-finals, but apart from that, we've been nowhere near um, a cup trophy since. So, pump the fists. Um, media have given us a lot of credit lately, so let's go prove them right. Absolutely. Um, Solas suspension. Anything we can say here that says... No. I was looking for something that says, well, we've got good enough players, but we'll deal with it. Um, I think you can last a full match. Uh, given Brook Ince match fitness. Ince isn't starting, is he? So I don't know why that's so important. Okay, anyway, ignore that. We'll move on. He's on the bench. Oh, no, Ince is behind the striker, isn't he? Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, Barak Ince plays behind the striker because he's got a bit more composure on the ball other than Lee Kang, who's great on the counter-attack. And the first chance of the game goes to Barcelona. Charles from a throw-in. Oh, headed clear. So, Dembele. Jot Ooh, okay. Diogo Jota. He's been a good player on this game. We, we were in for him at the start of the... Uh, Start of the save, but obviously then we had no money. We still have no money now until this episode. So guy with the corner, headed clear the fatty. That is dangerous. That is dangerous. You're, f oh, mate, he's absolutely ridiculous. You are, a, you are a Valencia player now, my friend. So our new signing joining us in the summer has just absolutely carved this open. So looking forward to seeing this in the black and white next season. But yeah, I don't know where Vera's going there. He's just been blocked off the ball. So we're one 0 down. Shock horror in a big game. At least Dembele hasn't scored against us yet. That normally happens. Okay, so oh, Dembele is injured, so that is good. So at least that isn't going to happen for the first time ever. So we've only had one shot so far. Free kick. That's two nil. So it's a pretty rough start, this, guys. So we don't look up for this at all. That's a bit lucky. Pedri, I bet he's developed nicely. I'd be intrigued to see how he looks. Okay, so we're going into half-time. Hopefully, nil-nil. We are going to change the formation because this isn't working. Going to go for 4-3-3. Going to haul Maxi Gomez off because he's offering us nothing up front at the moment. He looks a shadow of himself. Last season, even before we brought in uh, Isaac. Right. Time to get to work. 4 3 3. So we're going to have to make quite a few changes here. Probably have to make all three changes at half time just because of players' positions. So Correa right back, Saliba, Mbai, and Gaia. I might take Mbai off, play Sterigo instead, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. A bit more experience at the back. I'll say that they're about the same, aren't they? But yeah. So Vera holding mid. Uh, we've got Musa in there already. So this is the change you have to make. So Ince is going to be sacrificed for Guedes. Uh, Lee Kang will have to come on the right-hand side for Gomez. And then Gavi or Kana? Oh, Kana's already on, isn't he? So, no, he's not. Can't... Yeah. Gavi, Musa in the middle with Vera behind them. Lee Kang and Guedes. So, it's three changes made at half time. So, if we do come back to 2-2 and we do go into extra time, we're going to have some heavy legs. Throw the water bottle at them. Here we go. Big half coming up now. Big half coming up. So get his ball in. Kang, that's one. Lovely job. That's exactly the start we needed to this half. So the two substitutes combined. Gaia into Guedes. Good ball into the back post. Good movement. Lee Kang strikes against Barcelona again. <sighs> Game on. Here we go. Here we go. We look up for this. Staying with the clearance. Need to get ahead on the ball. Need to get a white shot on the ball. Good. Bit of quality. Gaia. Just composure. Composure. Good. Popping it around. This is already much better than the first half. Gaia cleared. Correa this time. Isaac! 
Yes, onside. He's onside. That is a hell of a ball. What a start to the second half. Ten minutes in, we've clawed ourselves back into the game. Headed clear. This is class. This touch from Correa. Maybe I don't get rid of him. Deep cross in the back post. Isaac's alive. On the bounce. Left foot. Cushioned into the corner. And that is 2-2 two, two with momentum in our favour. I'll watch it again. Why not? Times have run perfectly. Big looping ball to the back stick. Great touch. Great goal. Here we go. Decisions to make now because we are the problem with this 4 3 3 formation is it does take a lot out of the players physically. Okay, nothing's really happening. I'm scared to change anything. I'm tense. I am tense. Might have to change the mentality slightly. Maybe go a bit more positive, a bit more balanced. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Go on, nick the ball, nick the ball and go, nick the ball and go. Uh, no, away, go on, Isaac this time, stretches his legs, bit of quality, ah, oh, don't lose it there, God, here they come, Fatty now, good tackle by Correa, this chance needs to end, oh my, is that for to Savic, oh, Geddes loses it this time, please get rid of this ball, get rid of this ball, get this tackle, Messi, cleared, that's got to be it, surely, Oh, oh my goodness. Here comes the throw in. This is relentless. This is not good. Oh, Savage again. I mean, we're quite lucky these chances are falling to Milinkovic Savage and not someone else. A bit more quality. Okay, so we go into the second half. Uh, uh, first half of extra time. Dig deep. Fight a little bit. Feel bad for those boys. Would love a Gavi winner, though. That'd be excellent. I guess he's old club. And hopefully he turns a corner. So, obviously can't change anything. Just looking at the condition of the players. Like, they've played a lot of football. The guy is not doing much there. Left back, 6.3. But it's fine. We're probably going to go a bit more positive with our mentality instead of attacking. Just change a few things around. Change the formation for the third time in the game. Go for the 4-2-3-1. So, now we've got Kang on the right-hand side. Musa looking tired. He can play just behind the striker. Maybe shift him out to the right towards the end of the game. Geddes attacking left. And they've got Gavi and Vera sitting now in front of that back four. Just to get a bit more protection in the midfield. Because they were starting to attack there. Savage was getting in some good positions. Right, come on. Here we go. It's a good comeback. Again here, Barca are looking much better now. Maybe that's just fatigue kicking in a little bit. Messi over the top. Savage again. God, he got in the last 10 minutes. Right, we're on the ball. Come on. Bit of quality. Just don't lose the ball. Don't lose the ball. Kang, Gavi, driving forward. Good, good. That's not what we need. Reset, go again. Got the old Bruno Fernandez passes today, haven't we? Just trying to launch it over the top. Oh, I don't like this. That's a good ball. That's a great ball. Guy, drive. Need a pass. Go. Kang. Oh, my God. What a goal. <laughs> right. I, oh, I feel sick. Right. Gaia. Gavi then. One touch pass. Lee Kang. What a finish that is. That is an unbelievable finish. Kang with another brace against Barcelona. So we are in front in extra time in the semi final. Half time. Um, need to make the changes. So it might, we'll start the second half and then we'll put Musa wide right. Because we'll watch the attacking midfield position. We'll need some legs in there because he'll be part of the midfield three. Right, come on. Just see it out. Let's see it out at the end of the game. Balanced mentality now. Not going to go too defensive. Can we get a fourth? That'd be excellent. Gavi, back post. Oh, get us. That could potentially haunt us. We're looking good. We're finishing strong. Barcelona have gone. Let's get this part of this bus, shall we? A big Valencian bus in front of the uh, thing. So, back to shoot on site. We'll time waste as much as possible. Be a bit more disciplined. We already play with the regroup with this formation. So, I've got hiccups. This formation anyway. 
So more disciplined. Uh, you could play for set pieces probably as well. I say much leave it. Regroup hold shapes already there. Slow the pace down is already there. Um, distribute over the top of Isaac's head. Let him run onto it. And we're just going to drop right in now. So not too deep. Don't be stupid. So standard defensive line, lower defensive line, much lower, lower is the one we want. Um, don't prevent the goal kick distribution. Just hold your shape. Don't press them too much. Don't want the offside trap. Literally just keep your shape. Don't move. Don't do anything stupid. Ultra defensive. Um, all right, let's go. Let's see how this last five minutes. Hopefully nothing happens. Fantastic. That is one of the best wins we've ever had on this save. We've come back from 2-0 down against Barcelona in the past before. We've beaten 5-2 in our first ever season at home. That was different. That was a much bigger game. 2-0 down at half time. Made some changes. Lee Kang came on. Excellent. Two goals from him. That last goal, the winner, was fantastic. Isaac got himself on the score sheet again, which is awesome. I think he scored like seven games in a row now. So ridiculous. So we are we're in the final. We're finally in a final with Valencia. Which is awesome. Because we've waited bloody ages to get to a final. So, congratulate the team. It will be Atletico Madrid in the next round in the final of the Spanish Super Cup. Which is a small trophy in Spain. But to us, little old Valencia. Well, not that little, I guess, anymore. Um, I want to win this, I want to win everything at least once. Including the Champions League. Before we move on to a different team. Restore. So, Valencia wins Super Cup semi-final. Awesome. Atletico Madrid in the final. Lee Kang was on form. I absolutely agree with that. Put my arm around him, maybe. You're superb. Good stuff. Uh, Garcia wants improved deal for Gaia. Gaia's probably on about 80 grand a week, isn't he? Um, I mean... Pff, end of the season, mate. He's still got a lot of time left on that contract, I think. Still got two years. We'll end the next season, is it? So we'll look at doing that. But I think you should get rid of your agent, mate. And uh, we'll just brush that under the carpet and pretend that never happened. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Good stuff. Right. So I'm going to skip ahead. I'll do this press conference quickly. Um, and then we'll look ahead to the final quickly. It's three days away. So I've just got some boring emails to go through. So I'm just going to do this press conference, guys. And I'll just skip a couple of days. Um until the final game starts, maybe. Actually, it can't be that far away, can it? So, no, I'll keep playing it. I'll keep. I'll just keep playing. I'll keep playing. I will bore you with some more basic football. It is the greatest game in the world, but it can be a bit boring to watch sometimes. So it's only two days away. I thought it was a bit further on than that, actually. So, only concern about this is it's another game <laughs> in an already busy season for us. Fighting on four fronts, if you include this at the cup. Um, Ganjup, end of season. You know what? I, I didn't intend to loan him out at the start of the season, um, but he ha he's hardly playing for us. And he's a wonder kid. He probably could do with some game time. Saucy, that are a good team. He is going to be an impact sub. So he hasn't been coming off the bench for us. So we'll do that. Lugo is who we got in the cup. So chance to rest some players there at least, which will be good. Which I probably should have saved Ganjup for that one, but never mind. Um, moving on. Ismail, Stets go on loan. Great. Chelsea make a Gaia offer. You can offer all you like, but I'm not going to sell him just yet. Might be in a couple of years when he gets a bit older. Uh, Pepe can go out on loan. That's fine. He's gone. Excellent. Uh, inbox looks good. All right. So, Atletico Madrid coming up. Two days' time. Come on. This January transfer window in Spain takes ages. Purely because everyone keeps trying to buy my players. But we're building something here, Valencia. We're building. I fought off PSG and United for Soler for three years straight. Guy has been fighting off for three years straight. Every young wonder kid potentially I have in my youth team is trying to be signed by either PSG, United, Chelsea, Liverpool, um, Barcelona, Atletico, Madrid. We keep coming in for players. Madrid have left us alone. I mean... It wasn't that good, was he? I'm not having that at all. 
So soon after your clash, but it's the same for Atletico Madrid as well. They played Madrid on the same day. Uh, Ince is going nowhere. So it's a tricky one because Atletico Madrid did knock us out of the Champions League last year. They are the weaker. I'm going to say of the top four in Spain, including ourselves, because they, they, I think they just about scraped that fourth place. I, I think they're sixth at the moment. Really struggling, but they always seem to... Every team seems to show up in big games against us. Um, Ince, I do not want to loan him out. So this is what this is why I want to skip it all, but it's good to see, I guess. Um, you need to be playing at a higher level, mate. Basically, I want you to play more games with us than go to Batiste. So do I go for that? What's, what's the bottom one? I can't really say that. Play at a higher level is not... It's what I want to say, but it's not what I want to say. Basically, I want to say you, you're involved with my plans in the first team. Well, that worked, so that's okay. Good. Awesome. <laughs> Super Cup spectacle, Saudi Arabia, Valencia versus Atletico Madrid. Hold the team meeting. Oh, God, I'm terrible at these. Right. <laughs> I don't ever know what to say. <laughs> I've clicked every option in this scenario, every time we play, and every time they get more unmotivated. I'm not saying that because we are, we can, that's the one I want to say. You don't get the chance to play in the cup final every day, or do I just tell them to ignore it? It's one of those two, isn't it? I'm going to go for that. Oh, God. <laughs> made a right mess of that um, right okay hurt <laughs> that did not go well if we lose this cup final now you know exactly why we've lost it um, Gonzalez not going on loan because I need he, he is part of the plans I can't give it a Gandjuk and Gonzalez Andreas has gone on loan though Al Korn, because he needs some first team football. We've also got the young right back from Brazil who's going to come in and be Correa's backup. We don't need three right backs sitting there on the bench. Might as well loan one of them out. I know you're going to think in someone gets injured. Okay, that's good. That is good. Agent solid to the rescue. Ah, it takes a lot. Go on. Game day, game day, game day, game day. We're playing them tomorrow. We're playing them tomorrow. Cameron Vega. Seville wanted him on loan. They were quite happy to accept that. It's annoying because I'd love to have signed him. Real Madrid signed him and they barely play him. Uh, John McGinn. Some good stats there. Maybe, maybe, maybe look into him a bit more. Doesn't, doesn't scream Spanish football though, does he, John McGinn? So, we'll see. Right. Must respond. What, what do I have to must respond to? <sighs> So I, literally, I just deal with rejecting loan offers for all my players constantly. And then eventually I cave and think, actually, you know what? You probably could do going out on loan. <laughs> right, here we go. We got there at last. Here we go. Atletico Madrid in the final of the Spanish Super Cup. I'm excited, but I'm also... Terrified at the same time. Uh, play for set pieces. Do it. Definitely play for set pieces in this game. Okay, so lineup wise, um, not going to go with the 3 5 2. I think we're going to go 4 3 3 because it didn't work against Barcelona. Atletico Madrid, if we get them on the back foot, don't create too much against us. I know they've got Jao Felix, who went for a stage where he kept constantly scoring, but we did beat them 1 0 away from home the first game of the season. Um, um, think, 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 think. So we're going to drop ints for this game because I don't think we're going to play with an attacking midfielder. And if we do switch to attacking midfielder role, then we've got cover on the bench so someone can just do a job like Ali Kang or Thiago Almeida can just sit in there. So I don't need three of them. On the bench. Um, the decision debate then. Who plays at the back? Mbai, Sterigu or Iranzo? I'm thinking Mbai. Just because he's a bit more physical. A bit faster. So if he does get caught out of position. Which we have seen in the past. With Iranzo getting caught out of position. He might actually be able to come back. What's this guy's stats? Okay. Mbai is. Left side is centre half. Saliba right side is centre half. Gaia and Correa again need to create. Isaac need to have a big game today, mate. It's your first final, probably his first final ever. So important for us. It's our first final. So there we go. Gedez and Lee Kang out wide. 
It's game day. We're taking on Atletico Madrid in the final of the Spanish Super Cup, which is a minor tournament, but to us, it is the world right now. So there's the team sheet. There's the lineup. Koke, Saul in the middle. Jao Felix. It's a great. I was it for the fans. Where are the fans at? Show your born winners. That sounded good. Let's do that again. I haven't seen that one yet. Been told he's fit enough to play. Right. Game day. Their form is good. They look all right. Jimenez at the back is a good player. Felix Diaz out wide. So we're going to match him with the 4-3-3 today. So hopefully we just get the better of them. Our form is looking good as well. We just had a massive morale boosting comeback victory against Barcelona. So this is it. This is the game. Here we go. Come on. Pumped. Psyched for this game. It's our first ever final. We started well. Four shots on goal. Two shots on target. Something's got to happen, surely. <laughs> it's any second now. Uh, average rating 6.9. 0 0.69071. Okay, come on. Can we get on the ball? Can we get on the ball? Out wide. Diaz. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Away. Counter attack. Ah, it's got to be a better pass. That's that's a hell of a tackle, that, whoever that was. Could be Saliba. Don't think it was Mbai. So, first key highlight of the game has gone to Atletico Madrid. This looks cagey as anything. Uh, nothing really to report. We've had more possession, which is strange. Maybe they're sitting in a bit, are they? So, okay. That was very uneventful, I'm sure you'll agree. Um, not much I'm going to change, really. Looks like we're kind of on top in terms of chances created. Shots haven't created that key chance just yet. Okay, so dressing room, uh, pump the fists again. Uh, get back out there, get that one goal that will win it for us. So it takes Atletico are pushing too hard. <clears throat> um, oh, shot map. Okay, so a few headers in around the box there by the looks of it. Wow, this is <laughs> this isn't quite the exciting final I had in mind, but okay, we're not losing, so I'm, I'm, I'll take it. They're not creating much. Uh, decisions to be made. We're not creating much up front, so we've got Isaac will stay on just for that pass in behind. Um, Thiago Almeida on one wing. We'll leave the other. Leave Lee Kang in position. Canna there as an option. Gavi's an option to bring on, playing well recently. Gonna put Sleeper on it right back. Correa wasn't quite fit before the game started, so Iranzo has come in at centre half, which could mess everything up for us completely. But we're going for it. Come on, lads. Come on. Gavi is on as well. <laughs> come on. Just give me something. Right, this is the chance. Come on. Get on that ball. Get on that ball. Get on that ball. Let's go. Gabby, that's not why we brought you on the pitch. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> oh that would have been devastating. 85th minute, imagine. <sighs> Keep his hands. Good. Okay, let's get on with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Corner. Headed clear. No. No, get on the ball, get on the ball, get on the ball. Oh, that was risky. That was risky. Right, Saliba. That's a ball. That's a ball. Yeah! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! The 93rd minute, 92nd minute. Oh, I didn't even see that. Ball over the top. Isaac onto it in a flash. One touch, two touch. Keeper comes out. Oh, he slots it past him. I'm not sure if there's a little loft there or not. I don't care. That's got to be it, surely. Come on. There we go. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. First trophy outside of the league. First cup final appearance. First victory. I know. I know it's just the Spanish Super Cup. It's like a tournament for the Community Shield. But I don't care. It's important to me. Good. Good stuff. I feel like a mental block. That winning that league title might have helped us a bit. There we go. Gaia lifts the trophy. White confetti everywhere. That's what we love to see. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. 
I'm going to milk this. You, you want to skip to the end, skip to the end. I'm going to watch us walk around. Who's got the trophy there? I don't even know. White boots, could be Sola. And there we are, sports fans. Valencia fans, converted Valencia fans. A 1-0 victory. I think, as a whole, looking at the way the game played out, they had that one chance at the end um, and at the start. Nothing else really happened there, but I, I don't know. I feel like we deserved the win, <laughs> even though we only had one. Is that our only highlight of the game? Like for us, I don't even care anymore. Um, hands on hips, no outstretched arms. Congratulations, you deserve it. Deserve it. Better than a good performance. That is awesome. Now, can we capitalise on that? The Champions League, I feel, is, is not going to happen this year. We have got Liverpool. Spanish Cup run would be nice. So we've got that off our chest. I can scratch it off my board. We've won La Liga last season. We're top of the league this year. We're going for the Super Cup. We're going for the double. Yeah, very happy with that. Very, very happy indeed. You can sound really upbeat. We've got Fatty joining us in the summer. I hopefully going to get us a new right back. Maybe this transfer window. Going to try and get a centre half as well. Maybe look at another young right winger. It's, just, it's tricky. Tricky. Don't want to buy too many good. I just the balance is quite good at the moment, so we're all right. Isaac, the new signing as well, scores a winner in the cup final. Three-two victory against Barcelona in the semi-final for being two-nil down. What an episode that was! So, congratulations to me and Valencia. We won the Super Cup. We're still in the Spanish Cup. We're still in the Champions League for now. Love it if we beat Liverpool. That'll be the next episode, okay? So next episode, we will show the first leg of the Liverpool game. There's a lot of league games to get up to as well. We won't bother with the Atletico Madrid game. We'll show you the highlights from that. And then the episode, two episodes time, we'll have the Real Madrid-Liverpool double header to see if we can keep pushing in the league, keep our Champions League dreams alive. But guys, thank you for watching. We are the Super Cup champions. Doesn't mean much, I know. It sounds a bit... Need to calm, maybe I need to calm down. Who cares? But thank you. See you next time. Don't forget to check out the rest of the video. See how we got to this state. We are an absolute machine now. We are an unearthed gem. We are going places, okay? So take care. Stay safe. Goodbye. See you later.